Welcome everyone to another tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to use specific techniques to edit B-roll footage or B-roll style video. So I'm going to start from the very top. Uh, first things first, we need to make sure we create a new project. Now I already have a specific folder where I saved all my stuff, which I'm going to put right here. So under my software folder, I have a folder called b-row footage you can make that on your documents and then inside b-row footage i have three folders my audio which is already in there my project which i'm about to save and then my videos which are all right here so make sure you create three folders audio you can right click new new folder or you can go to new new folder uh, make sure you create three folders one for audio one for project and one for video under a folder called b-roll footage and then just save in there now in here I have to choose where I'm going to save these files so I'm gonna go ahead and go over into my software folder right here and then go into b-roll footage under projects click right there I'm going to select that folder and then I'm going to call it b-roll footage right and then I'll click create now that's going to create my project where I can now work on my files and continue to my edit. Before I even import anything, I'm going to go ahead and create my sequence because there's going to be some stuff that we need to do. So right click in this general area right here, go to new item and create a new sequence. Now we're going to go ahead and use our digital SLR 1080p, but we're going to go with the 24 FPS one right here. And we're going to call this B-Row footage and then since I did it on my car I'll put BMW car you guys can do something else whatever your title should be and then I'm gonna press OK now <clears throat> I have my files right here there's multiple ways we can do this now you can just go ahead and drag your video your folder in here uh, but that's just gonna create a file for that specific thing or anything that's in there so I want to keep it a little bit more organized so that we actually have bins just like something that was covered in the actual assignment so you know what let's just go ahead and do it that way so that we can arrange everything in here so we'll go ahead and put our audio and then bring in our videos and here are our videos our videos are already separated into a specific bin but our audio is not so I'm going to create a new bin and I'm going to call that sequence and I'm going to drag my sequence in there and then I'm going to create a new bin and I'm going to call it audio and I'm going to add my audio in there see so now we have this organized by the way if you don't see it the way I see it and you're seeing something like this uh, right here on your icon view you can switch over to list view or icon view switch over to list it makes everything a little bit more easier to handle and to work with now the next step that we need to do is we have all our videos right here that should be recorded at 60 fps and we need to fix that so that we can be able to do slow motion footage so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new bin inside here and we're going to call it 60 fps oops just like so and then all these videos should go in here so we're going to highlight them and throw them in there bam okay perfect now all this is still just organizing the videos. We still haven't even edited it yet. So we need to make sure that we can uh, organize everything before we get into the editing part. And from here, we're going to duplicate this particular folder and we're going to rename it and call this one 24 FPS, just so we can have both in case we need them. And then our 24 FPS, we're gonna open it up, gonna select our first video scroll down to the last video and hold shift on your keyboard that'll allow you to select all of them at the same time we're going to right click go to modify and inter interpret our footage so what this is going to allow us to do is we recorded a specific way and now we're going to interpret the footage as if it was recorded a different way so we're going to assume that this is recorded at 24 fps which is our standard uh movie uh, HD filming production uh, frame rate so we're gonna press OK that's going to slow down all of our videos so now we can depending on how you guys you know filmed and edit 
we can put everything in order so I'm gonna start looking for the videos that I need which I believe might be this one yeah and then the lights turn on all right cool so this is the video that I want here and I'm gonna bring this video in here now all I'm doing is clicking on this little drag video icon and putting that there now here it's gonna say do I want to change the sequence no I do not I want to keep my existing now keep in mind on my videos I recorded at 4k resolution so all my videos are going to appear really big because I recorded uh, at 4k and my video resolution is at 1080p so right here where it says fit I'm going to put 10% and double click you're gonna see that my icon is really big this may not be the case for you but it is for me so I will uh, adjust that as needed and then hit over to fit and now my video will play correctly so <clears throat> I'm gonna add a couple videos here so this is 333 uh, this one too, but this one does not I'm going to cut right around there and then put three I'm looking for the one of um, 333 35 what is this one so not that one I guess I could drag this one in here And then I'm looking for there was one that I recorded. It doesn't seem like it's here. Let me look for it really quick. Um, iCloud. I don't think I recorded it. Let me head over to this and go to my videos. 24 FPS. Oh yeah, 34, it's right here. Okay, perfect. So I do have it, it's this one right here. Uh, this particular video was recorded accidentally uh, up and down, so I'm going to need to adjust that. So I'm going to bring my video over. And as you can see right here, this video is kind of a little bit messed up because it's up and down. But if I bring my mouse right around here, you'll be able to see those rotations. And then I can rotate it, put it as straight as I can, and then make it a little bit smaller. There we go. So that's that. This one plays. This, this. So what I want to do is I have a video, which is, let me find it, 34, 32 three this one right here I have this video and this was one of the questions in the assignment in our test so in between this video and this video over here I want to insert this one so I'm just gonna go ahead and select the video put this where I need it to be insert and then just click insert and that's going to add our video now when you use that it also drags in our uh, audio and I don't want it so I'm going to select our audio by holding alt on my keyboard that allows me to select the audio only and now I'm gonna press delete so from here it's gonna go from this video to this video again we need to resize or well, I need to you all won't have to do this all right perfect so it's gonna go from one So right around here and then I'm just gonna like cut some of that and put some of this and this is gonna flip and go into this video over here and this alright so if I play what I currently have and notice again this is all in slow motion so when I play this you notice that everything is happening in slow motion uh, so I'm just going to edit these little four clips and hopefully this is enough for you guys to kind of edit yours and see what you all need to do. So on our uh, layer video one, I'm going to put my mouse right in between that little gray line right there 
and make this a lot bigger so that I can see more of my layers. And then I'm going to right click in here. <clears throat> I actually forgot how to do this. Oh, right here. Uh, I'm going to right click on my video footage, go to show keyframes, time remapping and speed. And that's going to give me this line right here. And I'm going to do that for all my videos. So time remapping and speed, time remapping and speed, and then time remapping and speed. Now that gives me this line here and I'm going to use this to kind of zoom into it so I can be able to see a little bit more, make this a little bit bigger, uh, make my effects a lot smaller as I don't really need them. Um, make this again a lot smaller, bring this a little bit down so I can see a little bit more of my video. All right. So when I bring this over to the beginning, you notice that it's going up something like that. So right around here, I want everything right here to be really fast, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add what's called a keyframe at that very moment. And then this, it's going to create like a little tab right here where I can now adjust my speed and notice that it says 120. So regular speed would be a hundred. I'm going to go all the way up until I hit like about a thousand. Now, how fast you go is up to you. You're going to adjust this as normal um, as needed, but I'm going to go up to like around a thousand five hundred and I'm going to play to see what that looks like. So that goes really fast, but I kind of like that. Um, however, it stops at my car really quick. So it does all that and then bam, but it stops right at the car really quick. And I kind of want it to stop, I guess, more around here. So I'm going to move this. Now notice that as I moved it, it, it like spread in half. So when I click on this, you notice there's what's called an anchor point in the center. And I can now curve this so that the slow effect happens a little bit differently. So I'm going to go ahead and play it now. And so that kind of stops a little bit different. I'm going to bring it more back. And then the video kind of, yeah, I kind of like that. That's cool. And then it slows down right there, but now it doesn't feel as fast. So I'm going to bring this up a little bit more. There we go. And then the lights are going to turn on. And as those lights turn on right here, I'm going to cut it because I don't want the rest of this footage. Just click right here in my center area and ripple delete. That'll bring all my other videos together. And so this one kind of like cuts into the next video. And so normally I wouldn't do this, but my I recorded the other video incorrectly. So I'm going to go from this and then this one, I feel like, I think I'm just going to zoom it in a little bit more so that it feels like it was purposely done. Mm. And then it rotates. Now this rotation happens again, kind of slow. So right around here, you guessed it, I'm at a keyframe. I'm going to speed this up and I'm actually going to speed this up to like maybe like 3,000, 3,500. Let's try that. Zoom in because you can't really see what's happening. That actually looks like it happens way too fast. So maybe I'm going to slow it down to like 2,000 or give or take 1,300. All right. I'm going to maybe 900. All right, so that happens a little bit faster. I'm going to see what it looks like once I actually speed this one up, which this one also starts right around there. So I know I see a tree here. 
So when I see a tree, I also want to see a tree here. Somewhere there. I'm going to cut it. Bring this over and see what it looks like. So it does happen a little bit slow. So right around here, I'm going to add a keyframe and speed this up. And I'm going to do it all the way up to like the 900s, like the other one. So now it does this, right? And so if I play that. But notice how you can see all the frames and it looks kind of weird. It does look cool once it stops on this, but it looks kind of weird. So this is where I wanted to show you all uh, some cool stuff. I'm going to put this in my list view again. Um, some cool stuff about adjustment layers. So I'm going to right click, create a new solid and create an adjustment layer uh, right here. Adjustment layer. And for this adjustment layer, I'm going to name it transi transition. There we go. I'm going to bring my transition into here. And put it right around there right so it's gonna happen right above it and I might adjust this later on but under my effects I'm going to look for motion blur or let me just open up I guess my video effects go into blur directional blur is what it's called I'm gonna drag it into my uh, adjustment there now, right now, you can't see anything because we haven't edited this directional blur. So up here under our effects controls, we're going to click on that. And under directional blur, we can now edit this. Uh, as long as this is selected, you'll be able to see directional blur. And we can now edit this by clicking and dragging. You can also uh, adjust it by doing something like this. But I'm just going to put it at like around... 100 degrees and then blur length this is where you're gonna be able to start seeing like the effect actually taking place and you see these little stopwatches these are very unique because you can actually edit the blur so you can have it be like negative 90 degrees right at a keyframe right there move it a little bit forward and then rotate it with the effect more forward rotate it again 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 and then it comes to a stop right so it just kind of like fades back into into normal and so we can just kind of trim this to our fast area maybe add our effect to be a lot more there you go and now we get like a cool blurry effect we can even take it one step further by going and adding a new adjustment there Call this one um, blur transition and we can add maybe like a Gaussian blur oh sorry we need to actually add it over here cut it delete it and then bring this guy in here and again you can see your Gaussian blur and make it a little bit blurry There we go. It gives us a little bit more of a, of a cool look when it's like happening, right? Now, right here, this is one of the steps where we didn't really like cover it too much. I'm maybe going to spread this out a little bit so that it doesn't. There we go. That looks a lot better. And so like right here in this little area, I want to speed this up. So I'm going to add a keyframe there and then a keyframe when it like, it's like almost all the way through. Right around here. 
and then I'll add another keyframe and then open this up so I can see the entire thing. So I added two keyframes for speed right here to right here so that I can only move this middle area. And for this middle area, I'm going to put it at like 3000. Come back over here and then spread these out. Right. And then do a curve on them. This is what's called speed ramping because it goes from slow too fast you see that and it creates this like cool effect right here where it like speeds up in this little section I feel like that's still a little bit too slow so we're gonna make it go a little bit faster yeah that looks pretty cool and then it like slows down again so you all can do that on say maybe like a flip where like it flips fast and then lands back to slow so like you throw it slow it flips fast catch slow um, anything like that I know some of you had things with books maybe you could like kind of flip kind of slow and then pfft, goes really fast and then it slows down again uh, you you all can like experiment with it as needed so I'm gonna put it at, like 5,000 that looks pretty good and it stops now here's what's hard later on we still have our audio that we haven't even actually added yet and this is very important don't get ahead of yourself without adding the audio because you are gonna have to match up your clips to the audio itself oh my god that's super loud i almost like killed myself here i'm gonna lower this down there we go so i'm going to look at when these little uh hits are happening to try to make cuts on those hits so for example so like right here it doesn't slow down until like right around there so let me make this video a lot shorter and I want to see if I can make this land right on that hit. See, now that looks a lot better. I can extend this back and then maybe I can just add a dip to black and put that at the beginning and make it a little bit shorter. I don't think I have that much video here. Yeah. Right here on this hit, I'm going to bring back my video and bring this one in here. So like right here, it's not really, but this is where another hit happens. So right around here, I'm going to make this video be right around that area so actually we're gonna have to i think cut this a little bit there we go bring this here and then bring this guy here oops got everything oops i want this to be right in the middle uh, bring this a little bit up. There we go. So notice that this one, I want to see if maybe I can. Maybe right here in this boom, I can uh, cut this. Cut this and delete all this middle section just so they could have like a skip on that. Maybe not as much. I want to have at least a little bit of video here because right around here. I want to have uh, another little clip. So I'm going to go ahead and make this longer again. Yeah, but you could still see it. Perfect. And then uh, my next video is going to be under videos, 24 FPS. And I'm looking for, I'm going to switch back to my source here. Uh, this is 34, so I'm looking for 35, I believe. Yep, this one. And I want to bring this guy in here. <coughs> 
so here what I want to do is I want to add this part And then right around here, I'm going to right click, show keyframes, time remapping, and speed. Zoom into this area. And I'm going to select my video. Add a keyframe. Actually, I'm going to add my keyframe right around there. Yep. Add another keyframe here. I'm going to speed this up like a thousand. And then right around here, I'm going to cut that and then go to 36. Maybe add this part right here. And then add another keyframe. Oops, that one's normal keyframe. So I need to oh, go time remapping. And then do this. Something like that right around here. This is going to make the video progressively slower. I mean, faster in this little area. But I just want to see if I can get it to match to like this little section right here. Go in here. Zoom into that little area. And I'm going to stretch this out. right around there and then curve these yeah and again I'm trying to get this to land with my music right And then I can add whatever next thing I, I have here, which I'm not sure what that is. So I don't need that. And then I can continue, right? So those are some of the stuff that you can be doing. Now, this is something else that you can do to your video. Once it's all done, you can start going in there one by one and you can go into uh, time, time interpolation and then put optical flow. This is just going to create uh, sorry the video to make it just a little bit more smooth so that and you have to do that to all your little videos you can be doing it as you're working um, but it'll help them become a little bit more smoother and then the next thing that you want to do and this one would probably be the last thing you do uh, whenever you see red like this like that one right there where it's red you press enter and it'll just render out those files to make them either green or yellow um, that'll make it so that your computer won't lag throughout this as much there you go so now when I play this it should be a little bit more smooth yeah All right, so that looks pretty good. Um, then obviously you would continue, but I don't want to do the entire video since this video is already going on to uh, be almost 30 minutes long. Um, so from here, the last thing that you would do is if you have any videos that are kind of shaky and it's very noticeable that the video is shaking around, you can go in here and type in warp and you're going to see warp stabilizer and you can add your warp stabilizer to your video. 
um, actually time remapping and warp stabilizer can't be used so that wouldn't work there is a trick you can right click once your video is time remap you can right click and you can nest it and call it uh, you know video or I guess you could maybe cancel it once you have your whole entire video together right you can right click on all of it right click and put nest once your whole video is done and then just call it warp I guess and press OK that's gonna make it into this like video you can no longer like edit I guess it's like a, a whole new sequence right you have your b-roll sequence and then you have your warp sequence and if you want to edit inside you'll have to go inside your warp sequence but in here you can now add warp stabilizer and uh, you just wait until it's done and it's going to essentially analyze your entire backgrounds and try to stabilize your whole footage to get rid of any annoying shakiness and stuff like that um, once you've done all that and your music is good and all that I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this because uh, analyzing the background and all that does take a long time but once you're done with everything just make sure that you cut your music off right and then make sure you go into your audio uh, audio transitions crossfades and then you can just do an exponential fade make sure it's kind of long so it fades out and then that's where it ends right and then make sure that you also put a dip to black if your video is about to end and then it fades out all together and then that's it you would export remember it has to be about 30 seconds long uh, I still had way more to go but as you know this video is now like almost 32 minutes long and I'm gonna go ahead and end it but if you guys have any more questions on how to edit your b-roll footage just let me know and as always make sure to click that subscribe button and i'll see you guys on the next one peace